Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to start a new video course on Scribus, which is a free and open source desktop publishing software available for most desktop operating systems. The software is designed for layout, typesetting and preparation of files for professional quality image setting equipment. So let's go on images and let's see what type of products you can prepare with the use of this software. So as we can see, everything editorial related, it can be a page for a book or a page for a newspaper, a flyer. You can also create PDF presentations with it, or you can create comic books with it. So you can get all the pages of a comic book ready for having them printed out. So let's go back to the main page. Let's go on the website. As you can see on the website, all of the functions of the software are well described. It's quite flexible and of course open and free and it's seen as a alternative to Adobe InDesign, which is of course not free. Scribus is quite simple and with this video course, you're going to learn everything about margins, pages, and bleeds so that you can create something that is ready for printing. This type of software is used for an extremely precise result in typography. So let's go, let's go ahead and click on the Scribus for all blue button. You will be led to another page which will tell you the state of the current branches. It says that currently the stable branch is the 1.6.x series. So all the stable branches, the latest ones, are going to be 1.6.1, 1.6.2, etc. etc. With Scribus, you can also use a branch that is not stable yet and you can try it out for free but i do not recommend it let's stay on the safe stable branches so i downloaded uh 1.6.x1 and then it's going to open a new page which is scribus.net once we are on scribus.net let's click on the green download button and then you don't have to click anything else because it will have the download star by itself. There could be some pop-ups but don't click on them. Once the download is complete then you'll have to install it. So you have to accept all of the options and leave everything as it is except for of course the language. You'll have to change it up to the language you prefer, for example, English. And then you're going to install it. It will take just a few seconds. Once the download is complete, you can open a new file, which is in an A4 format, but you can change it up. This is the main frame, and we're going to learn about it in the next lesson. So give this video a thumb up, and then join the channel if you want to stay updated, and watch the next video of this video course about Scribus.